let's just do this. Hey, what's up? My name is Juma. Um, I am honestly. So I've actually filmed this before, but I was really, really emotional and kind of out of it. And I don't know. I don't want to be like that when I talk about this because I am ready to talk about this. I want to share my story for not only my own sake, but for anybody out there that is going through something similar and needs somebody to relate to. I want to explain to everybody what actually happened to me. It's In my shoes, it was crazy. So if this was to happen to anybody else, I know back in my position, I would have killed for a video like this. There's nothing worse than feeling alone and yeah. If I say anything in this video that it might offend you, um, I'm really sorry, but I'm just going to be completely honest because there's no sense in pretending that I was feeling a certain way when I wasn't, you know? So let's get into it. Let's go back to last year. I was fresh out of high school. I didn't really know what I wanted to do. I don't know. I had a really good group of friends. I was working full time. I was focusing on myself, partying, smoking, drinking, etc, etc. You know, freshly 18. I mean, that probably didn't make a difference to the way I was acting before I turned 18. Honestly, I was really lost. I was a pretty lost little teen. I've struggled with depression and anxiety for a few years now. Last year was a pretty confusing, crazy year for me, especially in that note. I was, you know, pushing all my problems aside, trying to pretend that they weren't there when they were there, and yeah. Um, last year, I really wasn't on good terms with my parents, in particular my dad. We didn't talk for probably around six months. I was in a pretty bad car accident. So that's another story for another time though. I can't be bothered talking about that. I was never really home. I was out all the time, skating around, hanging out with my friends, trying to do anything except for come home, you know. So anyway, that's just a little insight to what my life was like last year. I can see all the toys moving, but it's gonna be so distracting. I'm sorry, I'm not sorry. <laughs> yeah, like I said, I was working. Um, I ended up getting really, really sick. So at the time I did, I thought I was sick. My doctors were telling me I had gastricide. I didn't really understand what it was at the time. I didn't really care for my like health at the time. I was a very destructive thinker, you know, so I didn't really care about myself. I didn't really look after myself. Um, but these problems I was having with my body were starting to get really, really bad and too hard to go by without noticing. I was going out on the weekends and having the worst hangovers ever, which I thought was the worst hangovers ever. Um, I never get hangovers, you know? So I didn't really know what the hell was going on. I mean, really terrible um, pains in my stomach, peeing all the time. What other symptoms were there? There weren't many, I must admit, but um, the ones that were really, really noticeable were definitely the fact that I was in a lot of pain in my stomach um, and I was gaining a bit of weight. All of a sudden I couldn't fit my work shorts anymore. Um, to me it seemed like I was bloated because it was only really in my lower abdomen which I get bloated then now in a similar kind of way as to last year. I didn't show at all during my pregnancy. Obviously when I didn't know I put on the tightest little bit of weight. I'll put some photos in. Um, I don't have many. I've looked when I did that last video, but um, I'll give you kind of an idea. Yeah, it all kind of came down to this one day at work where I probably made about six bathroom trips. I felt so sick, so terrible, felt like I was going to pass out. I was, you know, I was, it was not very good. Um, up until I did, I threw up in work during the rush at Burger Fuel. Shout out to Burger Fuel. Um, and I had to go home. It was a terrible afternoon. I couldn't I couldn't stay awake really um, I don't know I was like comering out I was in bed all afternoon up until I had really 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 bad pains and I went to the doctor they did some emergency blood tests and urine tests which they'd done like quite a lot before because I'd, I'd been there like five times um, and then yeah they pretty much concluded you've got gastricide we'll put you on some more antibiotics um, if it's getting more serious we might have to do a really really serious operation you know I was at this point pretty much over I would have done anything 
um, to make it stop. About three weeks later, I didn't see any change at all. Sorry, she's like moving too. Um, I didn't see any change at all and my mum was getting kind of worried, you know, because I, like I said, I didn't really care for my own health. So to hear me complaining and complaining and complaining all the time, she was like, we're going back to the doctors. And at this point, they were freaking tired of seeing me. They were treating me like a, what's the word, um, like a hypochondriac almost, you know. Um, they were kind of annoyed, they were treating me like I was a little bit crazy, it was not very nice, I didn't want to be there, I felt hella annoying and it was a waste of money to be honest, that's the way I was thinking. Let me just say, okay, this is where I get a bit, I, I really should write down what I want to say because oh, I start to get anxiety a little bit when I talk about this, it's annoying, this is, like, this is what happened in the last video, but I don't want to feel like that, good vibes, good vibes, it's okay, like what happened has happened and... There's nothing I can do about it now. It's okay, it's okay, it's okay. <sighs> what was I saying? So, I said before, I didn't really have any pregnancy symptoms. Um, they honestly all kind of came when I, when I actually found out. When I was going to the doctors, I wasn't with anybody. I hadn't been with anybody for about four, three or four months. Um, up until the last visit, which was five months obviously so the whole time I was telling them I wasn't sexually active and they never thought to do a pregnancy test on me um, back then I was really pissed off about it when I did find out so obviously this last doctor's trip I'm talking about I found out that I was pregnant um, she put a heartbeat monitor on me after feeling my stomach and saying it was very bloated and she was quite concerned and she said to me is that a heartbeat you can hear at the time I can't even tell you I was just crying I'm a crier I panic it's like defense mode I don't know it's really weird sad things happen I cry my body just tears it's fucking weird I was just hella emotional you know and I was freaking out I was freaking out I was freaking out I was freaking out um this is getting rambled you see this is this is what happened last time okay so yeah anyway I ended up doing a pregnancy test while I was there and yeah it was positive <sighs> I was freaking out at this point I was at the doctors on my own my doctor was acting very sheepish very not even apologetic about the whole thing that had happened anyway she ended up kicking me out of the doctor's room I was a mess I couldn't stop crying I'm talking about this pretty quickly um, but at the time I can't even tell you the, what kind of emotions I was going through like I've never I've never been pregnant before as a teenager I mean you have pregnancy scares and everything but I'd never it had never actually happened so I was very scared but um, in the back of my mind I was thinking it's okay because I don't have to go through with this now this is the part that I was kind of referring to when I said I'm sorry if I offend anybody at the beginning Abortion is a very, very touchy subject. I know a lot of people have very different views on it. Since I've had a baby and spoken to a lot of girls about my story, you'd be blown away at the amount of people that have opened up to me about having abortions and not telling anyone about it, pretty much. It's actually really shocking and at the time when I had found out I did, I wanted to get an abortion. I wasn't ready I was young like I said I wasn't even very well in my own head in my own life um, I didn't think I could give a baby the life that it deserved you know not yet I wasn't ready and I was scared I was so so scared I was a baby myself pretty much you know you can't help the way that you feel sometimes you know life happens so goddamn fast you can't help the way you feel it was my mama. <laughs> um, this is the part of the video that I actually really, really lost my head last time. So I'm just gonna, mum thinks I should write it down, but I just wanna talk this out off the top of my head. I think it's a lot more honest and from the heart and you know, if it's just off the top of my head, the way I remember it, you know? So anyway, back into it. I, 
yeah, I left the doctors, my mum picked me up, I broke the news to her. Yeah, she was thankful that it wasn't anything worse. Um, obviously, pregnancy was the last thing that we were thinking. Especially when they were telling me I was having serious gastro problems, you know. But, um, anyway, we booked an appointment for the radiology play, which we couldn't actually do until the next day. So that night, I was such a mess. I was going through so many emotions. I was trying to decide what I wanted to do. I was feeling selfish. I was feeling lonely. I was very feeling scared. I can't express to you. <laughs> I was dealing with depression. I still kind of am, but when I get knocked, I get knocked really, really hard. So yeah, that night was not very nice. I lay in bed pretty much the entire night. I didn't want to talk to anybody. I didn't know who to talk to, to be honest. It really sucked because it felt like the end of the world to me. I don't know. It sounds so dramatic, but like I said, I get knocked so hard sometimes. And it really sucked because I didn't have a very good support system at the time. I wasn't on good terms with my dad, so I was never home anyway, and at this point I was at home. And I felt very depressed and uncomfortable and... Hmm. I felt so alone, and that is why I want to make this video, because I, that is the worst feeling in the world when you're going through something, like, really hectic. I don't know, but let's keep going with the story anyway. So we went to the scan the next day, my mum came with me, I am so thankful for my mum. She was so supportive during this time, especially the day I found out. Um, I am so, so, so lucky to have her. Even today, she is the, oh, she's honestly like my rock. I could count on her for anything. So we went to the radiology place. Um, I was very, very scared. We went in, I said to turn the TV off, I didn't want to see. I didn't want to face reality, you know. Um, I still kind of hadn't come to terms with what was going on. So she put the gel on my stomach and everything, was having a look. She was taking measurements to see how far along I was. The doctor that I had seen the day before had kind of guessed like 14 weeks, 13 weeks. Yeah, she wasn't really sure. The woman at the radiology place turned the screen around and told me that I was 21 weeks and 4 days. Um, yeah, so she told me that, I'm sorry, this is really all over the place. So yeah, I was laying there and I honestly, I couldn't stop thinking about this whole abortion thing. So I'm going to be honest, I didn't know what having an abortion involved. All I thought was that I could do this and just forget this had all happened. Um, I just, I wanted to make it all go away. I, I'm getting really anxious again. Fuck, I hate talking about this, but I can't let myself feel bad about it because beating yourself up about feeling a certain way is gonna be so much worse in the long run than just accepting it, you know? If you're in a position that I was in, don't feel bad about being selfish. I mean, like, I mean, if I was to ever go through the same thing again, I couldn't have an abortion just because I've seen what is actually on the other side, you know? Um, my baby girl is beautiful. I am so lucky. I am so blessed. She is perfect. Oh my goodness. If you've met her, you know exactly what I'm talking about. She... I'm a soul believer in everything happens for a reason. I like to think that my baby girl has saved me from myself. I, oh God, she has changed me in ways that I cannot even explain. As I said before how I was feeling, not everybody is ready to go through something like that. And it's, it's kind of crazy because in my position, um, I literally couldn't get an abortion. I was past the legal date in New Zealand, so ultimately that is why I didn't. If I had been earlier, I would have. When I said everything happens for a reason, I think it was pretty clear that she was meant to be here. She had made it through 
all those weeks of me not knowing um because i'm just gonna say here i was drinking and i was smoking and i was treating my body horribly that is one of the reasons i felt so terribly guilty when i had first found out but like i said you can't beat yourself up for things like what's happened has happened and you've just got to move forward i quit smoking the day i found out and a lot of my friends were gobsmacked at me for doing that honestly i tried for a long time to quit it's a dirty habit it's a hard habit to crack especially when you hang out with people who do it as well um but obviously i had a reason to stop and i didn't smoke my entire pregnancy um i didn't drink for the rest of my entire pregnancy because i had obviously done that enough um she attended a schoolboy concert with me my bad sorry babe but she loves music now to this day so <laughs> um like i did beat myself up for a, a long time but she is beautiful she is healthy and i am oh so lucky okay so um the rest of the year that summer was crazy i lost a lot of friends and my true ones really stuck around i am so thankful to everybody that um was there for me during that time i was a roller coaster of emotions obviously because I was pregnant it was crazy enough but uh, like I said depression would get the best of me sometimes um, I kind of missed out on a summer I say because I was too scared to leave the house I was embarrassed I was ashamed I didn't want people to know I wore baggy clothes every single day like people would see me they didn't even know that I was pregnant honestly um, I thought that I could hide it from the world until one day I decided fucking screw it um, I can't keep this from everybody forever and I'm never going to truly feel completely okay within myself until I get this off my chest because I can't hide it forever you know I can't just hide the fact that I'm gonna have a baby that girl right there forever so I grew some balls and I posted a photo of me with my belly and this was in March I'm pretty sure so I was due in two months I was so fucking scared mind the language I was so scared when I posted that but the feedback I got was amazing everybody was so 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 lovely um you know I can't tell you how much better I felt after that happened and then the rest of my pregnancy just kind of happened and then um, I had Kaya. I want to put a message out there to any ladies, any girls who are going through a hard time, screw it, even fucking guys, like going through things and feeling like you've got nobody to talk to is the worst. I want to put it out there, you are not alone, the world would never throw things at you that you can't handle. Um, you know, you've just got to grab it by the balls and just do it. Just accept it, take it, ride the wave that is this crazy freaking life because, God, I myself know some hella crazy shit has happened to me. Um, but like I said, I'm still here on the other side when I felt like it was the end of the world. So I'm putting my story out there. I want anybody out there to know that if you need anything this is really hella random like you don't have to talk to me but if you want to I'm here chilling in my little corner of the world um, don't feel alone be strong be scared it's healthy to be scared it's okay um, everything's gonna be okay just have a positive mindset you know the cops just boosted past my house Anyway, um, that was the crazy story, pretty brief, I'm sorry, I've literally tried to film this like three times and for some reason it is the hardest thing for me to spit out in a formal, proper, understandable way but this will have to do for now. Um, this will clear some things up for people that don't know what happened because obviously when I posted telling everybody um, it was a bit of a shock and then all of a sudden I had a baby and it was like what the hell is going on. But um, ease the rumours. I'm tired of hearing all these horrible things about myself. Um, yeah.
that's that outro messy and done thank you so much for watching um this whole video thing i really really want to kind of get into it some advice for some people um i've got a lot of stories a lot of crazy stories a lot of what i would like to think is some okay good advice you know um i don't know i'm just gonna see what happens i guess watch out for more videos in the future <laughs> i'm so lame i'm out of here peace out